I'm Jacqueline Allen with the latest from Denver 7. Hundreds of Colorado businesses are about to get some much needed help. Disaster relief loans are now available for those affected by the flooding, mudslides and related I-70 closures this summer. Governor Polis disaster relief declaration last month opened the door for this program, which is run by the U.S. Small Business Association. The SBA will grant these loans based on financial loss only, not for property damage. Now, businesses can apply on the SBA's website. Colorado's Republican primaries are staying put after today's vote to cancel them failed. The controversy stems back to a 2016 voter initiated law that allowed unaffiliated voters to take part in both the Republican and Democratic primaries here in Colorado. Now, critics say that law could open the door to outside influence, but the GOP did not reach the three fourths majority required to cancel the primary. Warm weather across the Front Range to round out our weekend. Afternoon highs in the upper 80s for Sunday and of course for the Bronco game in Jacksonville. We're looking at temperatures starting out in the 80s at kickoff. 87 degrees at halftime and 85 late in the fourth quarter. And we could see a few scattered showers there in Florida for the game. So we're rooting for the Broncos for tomorrow's forecast. As for Monday, temperatures in the 60s, a few scattered showers here late in the day. But up at the mountains, we're going to have rainy conditions on Tuesday. It'll start out in the 70s and then the temperatures will drop like a rock as we go through the day. So pretty chilly up in the mountains as well. We could see some light snow in the high country as the front moves through on Monday. Now 70 degrees will be the high on Tuesday. It will be a chilly morning. So on the way to the bus stop, temperatures only in the 40s and then into around 70 degrees on the way back home with partly cloudy skies. Temperatures in the 80s through the middle and end of the week. We'll have a few scattered thunderstorms on Friday with highs in the upper 70s and partly cloudy on Saturday with a high of 81. And this has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us. You can check back here later tonight for another update. I'm Jacqueline Allen.